Have you ever seen a blue whale, the largest animal on earth, being hunted? What about wolves taking down a bison? In the wild, size often makes the difference between winning and dying. But large size also means more flesh, and the animal giants become the target of hungry predators. In today's video, we are going to show you the 14 uncanny moments when animal giants were attacked. Number 14. Lion Attacks Elephant Weighing up to 14,000 pounds, the African elephants are the world's heaviest mammal on land. With such enormous weight and tusks that can grow up to 7.5 feet long, they are an impossible prey for any predator. But lions don't seem to give a damn. The kings of the jungle are known to target young, sick, or defenseless elephants as they provide a filling meal for their entire pride. Lions don't usually target elephants, but desperate times call for desperate measures. The lions are thinking of attacking the elephant calves, but reaching them is very risky as the adults are cautiously guarding them. The only way to prevail in this case is for the lions to isolate one of the young elephants from its herd. And that's exactly what they set out to do. The lion's plan works brilliantly, and the pride is able to attack and take down the calf after some serious struggle. Number 13. Killer Whale Attacks Blue Whale Reaching nearly 100 feet and weighing around 150 tons, a blue whale is as heavy as 30 elephants put together. But here comes the surprise. Despite their gigantic size, even they have predators, and they are none other than killer whales. For these underwater mafias, size does not matter much. Killer whales, with their combined strength and intelligence, can kill a blue whale and feed on it too. A lot of birds are hovering over the whales here. The killer whales have got something really big. It is unbelievable that they have surrounded a huge blue whale and are trying their best to kill it. But the blue whale flaps its tail and it seems that the war is far from over. The killer whales keep at it and don't give it up even for a second. After a while, the seawater turns red with the blue whale's blood. Even as the blue whale flips its tail and tries to escape the brutal slaughter, things just don't look favorable at the moment. Number 12. Ants vs. Giant Hornet Growing up to 1.7 inches long, the giant hornets are the largest species of hornets in the world. Not just size, they have neurotoxic venom that can destroy their prey easily. With these weapons, they regularly invade bee nests and target a large number of insects like caterpillars, wasps, crickets, and whatnot. However, all these fall short in front of an army of ants. Size does not matter in this fight, as this giant hornet is completely outnumbered against a huge army of ants. Even the strength and venom of the hornet seems to be of no use in this fight. Though it has the power to kill a few of these ants with its sting, it can do almost nothing, as the ant army is just too overpowering. The hornet is battling hard, but the ants are simply unbeatable. They have knocked the hornet down, and the countdown for their victory begins. It is a matter of time before the hornet will perish, because resistance is futile now. Number 11. Scorpion vs. Ants Armed with poison in their stings, it is dangerous to mess with the scorpion. They are a terror in the insect world because they kill a variety of them on a daily basis. Even mice and some smaller lizards are not safe when a scorpion decides to take them down. However, despite this terrible reputation, an army of ants can be fatal for a scorpion. Inside this box, a scorpion is desperately finding an escape route as it is surrounded by a large ant army. The hungry ants are unsparing and quickly get on the scorpion's back and are trying to neutralize its deadly tail. With each passing minute, the hopes are diminishing for the scorpion. The ants manage to immobilize the scorpion after some time. No amount of fighting back will help the scorpion to win this losing battle. Number 10. Lion Attacks Eland Size does matter in the wild, but in the case of elands, it is a big disadvantage. That's because it cannot run as fast to save itself from several predators who want its flesh. However, they are not defenseless because they have some of the biggest horns of any antelope, but that's of not much of a use when faced with a ferocious lion. This lion has nabbed an eland by its hind leg. It is badly bruised and bleeding. Perhaps due to its injuries, the animal does not fight as desperately as it should. The lion seizes the opportunity and pins the eland down. But to bring down a huge eland is way too hard even for this expert lion. So it targets the neck and firmly grips it. The eland struggles and wants to escape this horrible torture. But the battle is still on. The lion finally crushes the antelope's windpipe and kills it. Number 9. Bison vs. Wolves Bison are the largest mammal in North America and can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. They graze together in large herds. Whether male or female, bison grow slender and have C-shaped horns. They are nearsighted and communicate with each other using grunts. Their main predators are the gray wolves who attack as packs to bring down one of these gigantic creatures. Wolves are full of stamina and can chase them for hours and finally kill them. 
The bison herd is running in panic as they do not want to become a meal for this hungry wolf. But unfortunately, one bison is caught and is being attacked by a wolf. As the bison tries to run faster, there is more trouble as another wolf arrives at the spot. Now, two hungry wolves are assaulting the bison. Now, it's a battle of life and death for the bison. Then, in a fit of rage, the bison knocks and tosses the wolf away. Badly bruised, the wolf continues to bite and attack. It bites the leg of the bison and tries to rip it apart from beneath. Number 8. Capybara vs. Cayman in the world of rodents, capybaras are giants. They can grow up to 51 inches long and can stand 20 inches from foot to shoulder. They are incredibly heavier than other rodents, and some can weigh up to 174 pounds. Riverbanks, estuaries, streams, and lakes are their main habitats. This makes them increasingly vulnerable to predatory attacks from anacondas, jaguars, and caimans. Water hyacinth is abundant here, and the world's largest rodents are feeding on it. Large groups of them are potential targets of local carnivores. Capybaras have a good sense of sight, smell, and sound. The webbed feet of the capybaras help them to swim well, but there is danger lurking beneath the water. There's a caiman on one side and an anaconda on the other. Both want the capybara as their meal. However, this time around, the caiman wins this race. Within moments, the caiman finishes off the capybara by crunching and swallowing it. Number 7. Jaguar vs. Anaconda in the forests of South America, two top predators coexist. One is the world's third largest cat, the jaguar, and the other is one of the largest snakes in the world, the anaconda. They often target capybaras, caimans, pecoaries, and otters for a sumptuous meal. But when the two top predators clash, things can go out of control, and death is almost certain for one of the contenders. The anaconda's main weapon is its stranglehold, while the jaguar's main weapon is its enormously high bone-crushing bite force. This jaguar is doing something which is just unthinkable. With its huge bite force, it is pulling an adult anaconda for a meal. The anaconda seems to have given up this fight and is not using its deadly grip to squeeze the jaguar. Perhaps the jaguar has inflicted serious wounds on the anaconda's body. Number 6. Piranha Catching Catfish Catfish are quite big and can grow up to 24 inches long. It prefers living in areas of limited light conditions and loves living a sedentary lifestyle. Despite its impressive size, the catfish does not stand a chance if attacked by the fast-attacking piranhas, who have 4mm long and sharp teeth to slice and shred their prey in minutes. It is danger time for the catfish, as it is swimming alone and is surrounded by a school of armed piranhas inside their aquarium. Despite being superior in size, the catfish tries to avoid any confrontation with the piranhas and play safe. But this idea isn't going to work here. The piranhas are now prepared to launch a brutal assault on this big fish. The catfish tries to avoid the fight by trying to hide in the corner. All such wishes shattered. The piranhas start nibbing the catfish one by one, and they have it easy. Within minutes, the huge fish is already half eaten, and is perhaps lifeless too. With multiple injuries, the catfish becomes a free meal for the hungry piranhas. Number 5. Tiger vs. Crocodile Tigers and crocodiles both stay in India, and sometimes they clash violently and treat each other as deadly rivals. As the world's largest and heaviest cats, tigers can bring down animals much larger than their size. But the crocodile is also equally strong, but has a much higher bite force than a tiger. All that matters in the fight is the arena and size. In the deep waters, crocodiles undoubtedly have an edge over a tiger even though tigers can swim well. But on land, the tigers have an edge over a crocodile. The tiger is looking quite vexed. That's because the crocodile has stolen his sandbar. This irks the tiger a lot, but the crocs don't seem to care enough. The tiger reluctantly gives up and retreats. He observes the entire game for nine hours. Even when other deer come down for a drink near the river, the tiger seems only interested in the catch the crocs have. Finally, he realizes that he needs to snatch a meal from the crocs and wage a battle against them. Wading into the river, the tiger recovers his sandbar and tries to drag it onto the land. In the end, the tiger shows the crocs not to mess around with his lunch. Number 4. Wild Dogs Attack Eland Elands are giants in the world of antelopes. They are 5 feet tall and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. But because of their size, they are not fast runners and they rarely resist their predators. This makes them highly vulnerable to attacks in the wild. What's shocking is that despite being much larger than wild dogs, the eland is completely defenseless when they attack and eat it alive. This eland is in big trouble as the wild dogs are ferociously chasing it. It is running as fast as it can, but that is just not enough to escape the much faster wild dogs. Finally, the dogs have encircled it from all sides and are using their united assaults to knock it down. Within minutes, the eland is being ripped apart by the hungry wild dogs. 
Number 3. Eagle Steal from Undertaker Bird Undertaker birds, also called marabou storks, are large wading birds of the stork family. They are called undertakers because of their shape from behind. Their huge cloak-like wings and back skinny white legs make them easily identifiable. They have a long dagger-like beak that can reach lengths of up to 14 inches long. But for an ace killer like eagles, these are not factors to think about when they challenge these birds to snatch their meal. Rain is a distant memory in this valley, and the temperatures have risen a lot. The pond is too shallow to cover the fish completely. To make matters worse, the huge hippo has blocked their path to escape. This gives the hungry marabou storks a huge opportunity to gorge on the fish. They fly down and start eating the catfish without any problem. Though their foot-long beaks are not designed to eat this kind of prey, they have adjusted and are happily swallowing them. Then comes a formidable rival for the storks, a juvenile fish eagle. The juvenile fish eagle assaults a stork easily without bothering bothering about its size and snatches the meal. Number 2. Crow Pestering Swans Crows are some of the most common and are incredibly intelligent birds in the world, but are also quite mischievous and playful. As robbers, crows are quite brave and have a habit of snatching food and bullying other birds as large as swans. When compared to crows, swans are much bigger and can grow 63 inches in length. Not just that, the swans also live in large groups and are very cautious of their young ones, but the crow does not seem to care. This crow is behaving like a big bully. It flies over the swan's neck and kicks it. It repeatedly disturbs the swans around for no reason at all. After pestering one swan, it starts disturbing the other. The swans just do not bother and move away. Then, it targets another gray swan and kicks it hard by hovering over it. This swan takes up a warning stance, but the crow is just not in the mood to listen. Number 1. Komodo Dragon Attacks Water Buffalo for an apex predator like the Komodo dragon, size is a non-factor. That's because they are brutal and strong animals with a potent venom. They often capture their prey directly and deliver a venomous bite that stops blood clotting. The venom is so strong that even giant animals, such as water buffaloes, are not immune from their attacks. The water buffaloes, once they start feeling the impact of the venom, collapse and become a ready-made meal for the hungry dragons. A water buffalo quietly relaxes in a swamp, but not for long. It's trouble time now, as a huge Komodo pounces on its leg and forces the buffalo to get up and move out. Then, several Komodos repeatedly bite the legs of the buffalo. Moments later, the animal cannot stand anymore, as the venom is beginning to show its impact. The Komodo dragons have gathered around and are waiting for the buffalo to perish. After a while, they start feasting on it without any hurdles. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and family members. Do tell us your views on the moments when animal giants were attacked in the comments section. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again in another exciting video.